Hello everyone. This is example six of chapter three, and for this example, you know the dry density of a sand is sixteen hundred kilogram per meter cube. You know its porosity, and you are asked to find the void ratio E and the specific gravity, which is Gs. Okay. Okay. And for this problem, for this example, again, we're going to use the phase diagram. And for this example. It's actually not specified whether this is a moist or saturated or completely dry sand. So I'm going to just use the three-phase diagram here, but actually it doesn't matter what you put for air and water in this case. So we have this solid, and then we have air and water, and together these two phases occupy the voids. Okay. So for this example, actually, we only need the volume of the voids. So it doesn't matter if you have two or three phases here. And so since we're given density, so we are going to have a mass side unit is kg, and then the volume side unit is meter cube. So this example, if you look at the given and the unknowns, again, everything is given in terms of ratios. So porosity is a ratio, dry density is a ratio, void ratio, and specific gravity, they're all ratios. So it's same to us, it is safe to assume Vs or total volume is one. So this for this example, I'm going to assume total volume is one. So assume V equals to one. Again, this is because everything is in terms of ratio. Okay. And then once we have assumed V equals to 1, then the porosity, so notice the porosity 0.387 is defined as V of voids over total volume. And since total volume is assumed to be 1, then V sub V, the volume of voids, is basically porosity times total volume, 1, is 0.387. Okay. So the volume of voids is 0.387. And then the volume of solids is 1 minus 0.387. So that's 0.613. Okay. So we have actually the volume side completed. And then the second given that 1600 kilogram per meter cube, that's dry density. And dry density by definition is weight of solids over total volume. And then because total volume is assumed to be one, then weight of solids is gamma D total volume. In this example, 1600 kilograms. Okay. So that's weight of solids, 1600. Okay. So that's actually all you need to feel on this fa uh, phase diagram. Then the void ratio. So void ratio E, by definition, Vs, uh, Vv over Vs, volume of voids over volume of solids. So volume of voids, 0.387. Volume of solids, 0.613. And this gives us 0.63. And then specific gravity, Gs, is, in this case, the density of the solids over the density of water. Okay. And density of solids is mass of solids over volume of solids times density of water. Okay. So if you plug in numbers, 1600, that's the mass of solids from the phase diagram. Volume of solids, 0.613. And density of water, 100 kilogram per meter cube. And if you plug in these numbers, this specific gravity is 